Welcome to question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here are the question. Which of the following statement relating to the Caverna sinus is false? So here they want to know about the false relative to the Caverna sinus. So first of all, we have to know uh, details about the Caverna sinus. Then it will be very easy for us that which is not true in case of Caverna sinus. So here the options. Options are the pituitary gland lies medially the internal carotid artery passes to it the temporal lobe of the brain is a lateral relation the mandibular branch of the trigeminal and optic nerve lies on the lateral wall the ophthalmic vein drains into the anterior aspect of the sinus so now see the picture relating to the cavernous sinus first of all this here we can see this is the cavernous sinus and cavernous sinus is located on either side here this is a cavernous sinus and here also a cavernous sinus here we can see this is a cavernous sinus and this side this is another cavernous sinus so these are the two cavernous sinus which is located in the skull base on the sphenoidal bone on either side of the shella tarsica of the sphenoid bone so here we can see this is one cavernous sinus here another cavernous sinus and between them medially there is a structure and this structure is the pituitary gland so pituitary gland is medially for is cavernous sinus and we can see the different venous structure opens into the cavernous sinus in this picture here we can see the cross section of the cavernous sinus and here this is the cavernous sinus and here is the cavernous sinus and we can see the structure passing here this is the internal carotid artery so internal carotid artery it passes to this cavernous sinus and we can see just below the cavernous sinus below laterally there is another structure which is a nerve and this is the cranial nerve 6 this is the what then this cranial nerve 6 is the abducens nerve so abducens nerve and internal carotid artery they passes through the cavernous sinus and it is the middle part of the cavernous sinus through the cavernous sinus on the other hand we can see there are some important structures which located in the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus and here we can see the upper part uh, cranial nerve 3 and 4 and here we can see the cranial nerve 5 1 and 5 2 here cranial nerve 3 which is oculomotor nerve and cranial nerve 4 which is the trochlear nerve cranial nerve 5 1 that means the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve and cranial nerve 5 2 this is the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve so these structures are present within the cavernous sinus we can see again in the central part there is internal carotid artery and cranial nerve 6 then we can see in the lateral wall there are cranial nerve 3 4 5 1 and 5 2 so they are the structure passing through the cavernous sinus so let's see here cranial nerve 3 4 5 5 1 and 5 2 then 6 internal carotid artery and we can see the pituitary gland here this pituitary gland is lies medially here this is the pituitary gland this pituitary gland is located between the two cavernous sinus and we can see this is the body of the sphenoid and this cavernous sinus is located on either side of the body of the sphenoid and also here is the in the body there is sphenoidal sinus in the this picture here we can see this is the anterior end of the cavernous sinus and the anterior end of the cavernous sinus is related to the superior ophthalmic vein here and also we can see there is the inferior ophthalmic vein so in this picture we can see again this is the pituitary gland and on either side there is the cavernous sinus so here we can see the final answer here uh, we can see all the options such as the pituitary gland lies medially yes it's true we see here this is the pituitary gland and it lies medially for its cavernous sinus then the internal carotid artery passes through it it's also true the temporal lobe of the brain is lies lateral rotation yes it's true because this is the temporal area and here the temporal lobe of the brain located 
then the fourth option the mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve and optic nerve lies on the lateral wall it is not true because the optic nerve and the mandibular division of trigeminal nerve they are not within the cavernous sinus and uh, we know that mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve it is v3 that means the third branch of the cranial nerve five which is trigeminal nerve which is not present within this cavernous sinus and optic nerve for optic nerve there is a, a dedicated channel for optic nerve which is the optic canal to which the optic nerve passes and the last option the ophthalmic vein drain into the anterior aspect of the sinus we saw in this picture this is the superior ophthalmic vein and it drains the it is the anterior part anterior aspect of the cavernous sinus so the mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve and optic nerve it not lies within the cavernous sinus thank you all